My love must be a kind of blind love I can't see anyone but you I mean, fascinating, just absolutely fascinating. And the authorities, huh, they don't seem to have a clue what's going on. Just that someone is strolling into restaurants around the city and strapping bombs underneath tables. It's happened twice now. Six people have died. <laughs> Maybe I should check under our table. <laughs> Relax. You have nowhere to be. What are you doing sitting over here? Wipe the drool off your chin and go speak to her. Oh, no, 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 oh, Yes, 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 yes. Jonathan, every time a girl catches your eye, you never do anything. You just stare. It's so boring. That is not true. It's certainly not not true. Invite her over here, just for a drink. No, I really couldn't. May I clear your plate, sir? Quite a scandal, isn't it? I've been following the case quite closely myself. See that guy over there? He's been drinking that cup of coffee for almost 45 minutes now. What in God's name is he up to, the smug bastard? Just because he's alone? <laughs> no, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with eating by yourself. I don't judge. Well, uh... Well, we're all clear under here. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, is there anything else I can get you? Uh, some dessert, maybe? Jonathan? We have a fantastic pie selection. One comes from a little bakery down the street. It's a warm apple pie with an almond crust which comes with your choice of coffee or... You're not gonna be ice. here all day, Jonathan. For God's sake, Jonathan, stop stalling. But if I had to choose... If you're not going to invite her over here, at least go speak to her before she leaves. Favorite. Plus, it's made in-house. Fine. Uh, you know what, Terry? Um, just a check, please. Coming right up. <laughs> she's looking at you, too, you know. <laughs> no, she's not. Is she? You're going to back out again, aren't you? I can't just go up to her out of the blue. Why not? But, but, but look at her. How's a guy like me supposed to talk to a girl like that? Well, frankly, I don't know how she can if you're sitting all the way over here. Oh, well, she's with her friends. More the merrier. But they're in the middle of a conversation. Even better. Maybe she... Jonathan. Don't you remember the story of Hesitant Harry and the Princess? <laughs> no. Yes, you're right. You don't. Because Harry was so damn hesitant that the princess got up and left the restaurant and he never saw her again. And Harry's life was so incredibly dull that no one bothered to write about it. You just made that up. Whoa! Here you are, sir. <laughs> I need a drink first. Jonathan, you do not need a drink. Absolutely, sir. The meal is over, the check is here, the time is now. I'll just have to write up a new check. No, Terry, that won't be necessary. I said I need a drink! Yes, sir. All right. After this drink, you are going. Fine. Good. Great. Where the hell is my drink? All right, you're gonna walk right over to her and you're gonna say... Hello. Yes, and then... Hi. Wrong. Oh no, what's happening? Fantastic, she's alone. This is perfect, Jonathan. This is your moment. Here you are, sir. Yes, yes, thank you, Terry. Sir, are you all right? Please, Terry, not now! Oh, good luck, sir. All right, are you ready? What are you doing? 
pull yourself together! You can do this. I can't. Jonathan, you have nothing to lose. She's waiting for you. Next time. Now, Jonathan. Okay. Get up! Okay, I'm going. Go, Jonathan! Go! Wipe the drool off your chin and go speak to her. She's looking at you too, you know. For God's sake, Jonathan, stop stalling. This is your moment. You have nothing to lose. She's waiting for you.